Hello everyone and welcome at the a slightly later time. Yes, we had a few technical issues getting in um, to the broadcasting studio, but we're here now and we are broadcasting you live from the um, social media Sammy with a session on our Facebook page. So it's good to see you. And as you'll see, I'm sat here on my own this week because we wanted to bring you some exciting updates and some exciting information. Um, let me know if you're on board, start commenting, say hello. Let's chuck some um, highs in there. Um, the team are behind. I'm sure they'll say hello in a moment and um, and we'll comment to say hi um, and good afternoon. So let me know if you're on board. Let me know if you're here with us. It's good to see you all. Um, let's have some comments in these sessions and it's good to bring you this session. So um, if you can't comment for any reason, you've got my email address, ricky at sammy.co.uk. Um, you've also got the sam at sammy.co.uk where you can do emails. Um, we want to know your questions this week. So if you've got any questions, any business questions, anything you're not sure of, anything you want to shout out about, please post those in the comments as well. Well, this is an update, a shout out and a comment. So it's good to see Emily on. Emily, thank you. Hi, good for joining you. Um, I'm sure we'll have Emily in the next few weeks to come and tell you a little bit about what she's up to. Uh, we've got Lorraine on. Yay, happy Friday. Follow Dennis. Yes, I've got the T-shirt on, Lorraine. So you'll be pleased to know we've got the T-shirt on there. Um, Tina is on. Hello, Tina. Good to see you. Sammy team are on with us. Good afternoon. Michael's on. Hi, yeah, brilliant. It's good to see you all in there. Um, so as I've said, this is kind of a bit of a shout out, a answer questions, a comment, um, and let's go for it. So let's give you a little bit of an update because we wanted to let you know what's been going on, what's going on behind the scenes, how we're doing. Um, and shout out to some of our lovely, lovely viewers and followers as well. So um, and let you know how they've been doing, because we are having an absolutely amazing um, time and enjoying working with you. And it's so rewarding. So let's do some customer shout outs first. I think um, we are very pleased. She is an avid follower of ours and um, they have been going from strength to strength. And it's just to let you know that um, SWAD are official. They launch 1st of December. They go live. We are absolutely loving it. Let's have a big shout out for SWAD. They've gone from strength to strength. Lorraine and the team are doing amazingly. Um, and I know she always shouts out about us and the other people supporting her. But, you know, without her doing the hard work, none of it would have happened. So, you know, big shout out to her. Um, Jody, one of our other um, uh, followers and also one of our other people that we've been working with, she has been doing absolutely amazing. She's doing one of her first training sessions on Tuesday, teaching some scientifically proven techniques to help um, around heart math. It's around breathing, around um, mindfulness, and it will be absolutely amazing. So I'd encourage you to go and check that out. Um, first session, it's an introductory session. Um, it's a free um, uh, course to do on Tuesday evening um, that follows on to some other sessions. If you want to find out more about those, um, then Jody will be able to tell you about those, but have a look at that. Liz, um, our lovely um, book, Flipper bookseller uh, um, uh, that she does. She's been going from strength to strength, had a fantastic month, achieving her highest sale on an individual book this month. So big shout out to Liz. Well done. Um, some of the team, let's give you some team updates. Fantastic team here at Sammy. We had Chelsea has started joining us for work experience and she's on her second week. So we did something right in the first week. She came back to us, which has been absolutely amazing. And she's joined strong and we're giving her more and more to do. Absolutely love working with her a couple of days a week. Um, so if you see her in the office, um, not that you'll be in at the moment, but say hi give us some shout outs and some well done chanel has also joined the team and is working alongside us doing the delivery she has been doing absolutely amazingly um has been uh really interesting and exciting to work alongside so big shout out to her she's doing really really well and going strength to strength um and challenging herself every day so that's good 
Um, so, yeah, so that's a few team updates. Let's just see any more. Uh, Liz is on as well. Lorraine is saying we're blushing. Michael's saying whoop, whoop, that's brilliant. Let's have some. Sharon's on as well. I know Sharon's been working really well. Um, Jules has been supporting Sharon um, uh, on some bits and pieces, and she's been doing really well. Um, so big shout out to Sharon as well, another follower of ours and another person we've been working alongside. Um, so it's really 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 good um so yes that's great um uh lorraine has made a comment which i'll bring up in a moment um so we'll, we'll kind of hint at something we're, we're just waiting for the official um official confirmation but um yeah we'll talk about that in a moment um well done chelsea and chanel that's brilliant thank you tina so it's good to hear so while we're on this session if you honestly want to let us know about um the value that you've got from the sessions the value that you've got from the support with um sammy um let us know if you've had any takeaways or any moments but most importantly we'd love to hear your questions and comments so really do share ask any questions it's a general open session today as well um so if you've got any questions that you want to ask um so things to kind of talk about as well um and lorraine has kind of hinted about it already but we're waiting for the official confirmation but everything is looking good and um everything is looking good for our matrix accreditation uh, we will tell you more about that next week once everything is official um confirmed i'm not sure about keanu reeves though um lorraine we'll we'll hope that he you never know he might make an appearance um but it is a major milestone for us and um the team sam wayne and all the other team have worked really really hard um for us um sharon's doing a shout out to jules as well she's amazing thank you sharon um and it's good to hear that you're you're getting uh, massive value from the support that she's providing as well um, she is a great part of our team um, she's working particularly well in the Christchurch area on on a contract over there working and focusing on that as well um, so we're gonna we've got some questions that are starting to come in on the emails as well so we'll cover some of those in a moment um, we've got um, another thing that's been great for us has been our virtual workshops for schools as you know like anyone else we had um, very, very big challenges around um, COVID hitting. All the workshops and the valuable work we were doing with education and schools had to stop. Um, and we've now worked very hard on that, about how we can bring that back in a more virtual um, way to support um, with the education side of things and a COVID friendly, COVID secure way. And we're happy to say that our following some trials around that, we've successfully managed to bring it virtually. The good thing is with technology and being virtual as well, it means we can have more and more people um, providing that engagement with self-employed people and local business people. So uh, we will put it out to all of you um, that if you wanted to join us virtually and support on the education side of things and share some of your experience and what you're doing, we'd be more than happy to invite you onto some of that as well. So that would be really, really good. Um, in terms of um, we've had an excellent year funding, you know, we have to do a bit of a shout out to um, Wayne um, in particular, but also um, Sam works alongside that as well. But we've had a massive, massive funding. Um, we, we've brought in about 150,000 this year, which has gone towards really, really good, valuable projects supporting people to achieve. Um, so it's an amazing achievement. Um, and actually, um, to give you a context of that, we've been work, working alongside our existing people that we support, but we've also been working alongside some um, new people. We've brought in over 176 new people new sami people looking to start working for themselves generating that income to support themselves um, a bit more independently and financially and out of that we're now looking at a success rate of one in four are successfully trading or employed so that's an absolutely phenomenal um success on that one um lorraine is saying a girl can dream i'm going to assume that's about keanu reeves um so that's an interesting thought on that one um so yeah so um do share your comments share your questions um and we'll come on to those um shortly um but yeah we've had a brilliant one we've also started um one of the reasons that chanel's working with us now 
is that we've had um, our alternative provision has launched where we're working with young adults with disabilities who are looking to go self-employed or difficulties, challenges um, in many different ways who are looking to take their ideas and to start them and we have some brilliant people that have, we've piloted this with uh, which gives them a program of training a program of um activity to work towards working for their self um, and building their own income and we're achieving some brilliant success with that it's absolutely amazing um, and that has started and launched now as a pilot program and we're just looking to bring that in more long term um, but yeah so far it's looking really really well and there's some great um, young people that we're working with um, that are so happy and proud to have the opportunity and the idea and we're building their confidence building their skills um, and achieving great things um, and yeah Lorraine says yowzers great news about funding wins it is uh, Martin says amazing nice one um, good to have you on here as well Martin um, brilliant shout out to Martin I know you've been working alongside Lorraine as well um, and helping them with what they've been doing to achieve some fantastic stuff there um, Liz I've enjoyed the Sammy sessions very useful content also working on my own at home it is great to have content uh, have the contact with other people doing the same and that's great that we can bring you all together as a community and we really want to grow these Friday sessions now so if you know anyone that you think it would be great to interview who's an expert or who has started self-employed that has a really great story or if you think this is great and you think actually I know this could be of value to someone. Let's share, let's make people aware. We're keeping it on the regular time, Fridays at 12 o'clock, where we'll bring you more and more value and content. And we really wanna grow this and progress this now um, as a key way that we can support and get that knowledge out there and, and support people um, and um, provide valuable information. So also let us know other things that you want to hear while we're having a chat. Anything you wanna know a little bit more about would be great to, no, we had an email come in um, asking about um, how do I get go about getting registered as self-employed with HMRC? We've had this a few times. A few people have asked this. So if you're starting and you're looking to get registered with HMRC on the government website, they talk you through step by step um, and you will sign in. They'll take you through. They'll give you what's known as a UTR, which is your unique number. And then you go through and fill out the rest of the information. And it's up to you. We would never recommend on accountancy based, as we always say, you know, we can't recommend. But you can either go down the route of an accountant and bookkeeper, if qualified, they'll support you with that. But you can also then go down the route of um, self-assessment as well. And there is plenty of advice and guidance out there. If you've got any more questions, then bring them in about that. So. Um, we'll answer those in um, best as we can. Um, Lorraine is saying great news on your work with young adults. It can make a hugely positive difference to their life path to have such constructive support from the get go. Absolutely. Um, it is so um so brilliant to work with them um just to i mean to tell you about one of them obviously i can't share personal details on here i wouldn't do that but um we have a young person that we're working with uh wanted to be a, a gardening um professional wanted to work within the gardening gardening industry have his own um round and um we had um the the situation was that this young person had been told that actually they may not achieve that um, and they may have they may be dependent on support um, and we've managed to work with them they have a regular round they have regular customers they're earning an income and they are independent with it as well and it's absolutely amazing such a privilege to work alongside them their excitement and this week we started working on a qualification with them, gaining some skills, gaining some knowledge so that we could put a certificate behind that. And the reaction that actually that person could attain a qualification that they never thought would be possible was just amazing. To see that confidence boost was brilliant. So that's good. Um, 
we've had another email in as well so keep your questions and comments coming if you've got any questions and comments on here you want to post them you can ask anything it's a bit of a free-for-all this week so do put your questions and comments anything you've seen anything you've thought of any good news stories share them uh, but we had an email uh, received that says i know each business is different but what common insurances would you need to set up on your on your own business so that's a very good question you know people ask that and it is individual to the business there are lots of different options out there however some of the main ones that people need to think about is the public liability before you even open and trade your doors it's going to protect you against accident injury claims um, it's an absolute vital one for any business um, there is professional indemnity now that is an insurance that people will actually maybe need um, if you are um, if you are um, it's more around the advice and the guidance and damage to reputation or financial loss through wrongful advice that kind of thing so that's more around the professional indemnity um, not everyone needs that but again always explore ask the questions do the research um, there are lots of links out there around that um, home insurance you would need to make sure you're covered for business use if you're working from home for any of the items that are um, around business use and what you're doing and obviously then there's car insurance as well even if you are just taking a trip to the shop to pick up or you think one day i'll just do the trip in the rain absolutely they're the main insurances um, there are links and we can send you more links to information about insurance advice again we can't recommend or promote products on that but we can give you some guidance and, and signpost you in the right direction um, Fantastic news about the gardener. What qualification is, you, is that that you provide? So it's a level two qualification. It's a passport to enterprise qualification. So it's around business and entrepreneurship. Um, and that's the qualification that we work. It's accredited, it's recognized, um, and it's something that we really enjoy working with. And we very much base it around the work you're doing. So um, that's the qualification and it's a great one to be able to work with for people. So let me know, have you got any other questions for me? We've got some of our regular viewers. They're usually not lost for words. So do share your questions and your comments for me. Um, also, interesting, good news stories. Let me know if I've missed anything. How are you getting on this week? If you've got value um, from this, we would love to hear from you. Um, we are, although we are very busy on our appointments this week, we have, as you've heard, 176 new people, which has filled the diary with appointments. Um, we still have and make time for people that need our support so we do have the availability there um something we're looking at we're looking at doing um the first um thursday um or tuesday of each month we're just um talking about that at the moment but we're looking at potentially being able to provide some mini training sessions like we've done before so i'd love to hear what you feel might be um things that we need to provide for you um in terms of um appointments or um, views or um, training, anything that you want to know about um, that you feel that you can maybe upskill on would be great to hear from you. Um, we know that lots of people have lots of different views on things they need. So we would love to hear what would help you. Um, and I would love to get a few more people on our Sammy with sessions as well. So that would be really, really good to see you. So any other comments let us know that you're getting value let us know that you've enjoyed this session a little bit of a shorter session this week than normal but we wanted to bring some fantastic updates for you if you've got any questions for us in the meantime do um comment ricky at sammy um sam at sammy as well so we will um, bring you some more updates some more news next week we have another exciting session i'm looking forward to bringing you that session next week uh, we have a special guest um one of one of the people we've worked alongside has some absolutely brilliant information about disability and access so i'm looking forward to that one um and like i said in the next few weeks we've got a few exciting lineups of different people that are coming to talk to you so that is it from sammy sessions we are looking forward to seeing you next friday um just uh, lorraine has just commented about um she'd appreciate some help with how to of effective press releases that's a really good one um okay so we'll have a look on the pr and marketing side and we'll gather some more information for that maybe i'll see if we can get a sammy with session on that one as well so that would be really good to bring someone on with some expert knowledge around the press releases and marketing um 
and we'll get some more information about that as well and we'll see what training that we can provide on that one um so that would be good so it's been great to see you this week it's been good to have another conversation with you another sammy Wiz session i know i've kind of flown through the information and it's been a bit of a fast paced update up update but those of you know me well know that we don't tend to run through things at a slow pace so it's really exciting and good um good to see you have a great week have a fantastic weekend and we will look forward to seeing you same time same place next week see you then take care